Hey guys, welcome back. So, it's tray time. Um, so we're going to make one. That's right, tray. Uh, what I have here is two ounces of my uh, Fooey Tim 1 to 1 that I have run through the debubbler and let it sit there and think about what it's done uh, for a little while. So I'm just going to pour this in. And it was in the debubbler for about 11 minutes or so, so it had plenty of time to uh, do its thing, warm up, you know, vacuums, debubblers, whatever you want to call them, tend to warm up resin because it's moving it around and taking all the air out of it. And we all know that when you move around, you create energy. And warm up. Same goes for this. So. Alright, so I'm gonna let that sit and do its thing. I'm going to sort of maneuver it around a little bit just to make sure that everything is covered. I want thin, 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 thin. All right, then I am going to very gently, lightly, and without malice, take Tiny Torch and run over it for a sec. And then run around gently to get any bubbles that happen to be stuck in our right ankles. Okay, now that we've done that, I have two of my uh, about alcohol inks, one in orange and one in orange red. And what I want to do is I want to take my orange red, and I'm going to go around the perimeter, if you will. And then my orange, I'm going to drop in the middle of each of those darker colors. And if you're asking yourself, well, why is she just going around the outside and not putting any in the middle? Well, I have a plan. And we'll see if that plan will work. Meanwhile, this is what I'm doing. So I have a little bit of not, let me see here, uh, maybe two and a half mil over here of my uh, resin that I have broken off from the pack. And I'm using my Alumilite White. Uh, paste that I'm just going to put a very tiny, tiny little drop. Saw that? Teeny, tiny 
we bitty amount in there because I'm only using a very small amount of resin so you don't need a lot of, of color or pigment paste or anything because you don't want it to be too heavy. Uh, I don't want it to stink, uh, stink, I sink like a stone, um, but I want it to be visible because you know if you make your white paste too uh, too thin or you know it, it doesn't show up very well uh, so I do want it visible I just want to make sure that that is good and mixed in that looks good of course I'm using a white stick to do white paste and you know, if I really wanted to see how white it was, I probably should have used a different colored stick, but I didn't. So, <laughs> all right. Now, for our next trick, I'm going to take a pokey stick of choice. This one, in particular, has got sort of a little scoopy, scoopy doodle on the end of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now that this has had uh, the alcohol ink has had a chance to settle and kind of sit and you know mix and mingle and do all that stuff, I'm going to go in and make some petals. And before I do that, I want to make sure that my high tech mess mitigation device is readily available. Now that is done, I'm going to go through and try to do some blobby mitigation here. Just going through with my petals, breaking up any of those blobs that might be there. If I miss one, you let me in the comments.
right, so it's not cured, but it's cured enough that I can add some sparkle. <sighs> Look at that. My Autumn Leaves Holographic Blend of Glitter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take some of my glitter and just let it rain. I will see you guys for that when it happens. See you soon. Look at that. Autumn Sunrise Blend. I said it's a combination of orange, reddish orange, red gold, regular gold, and a little bit of purplish red. So it has just this beautiful sheen to it. Ugh, I love it so much. Okay, so now we know that there is going to be some loose glitter here because I just went ham with it, and I'm okay with that uh, because I'm fully expecting it to blend in with the resin. So let's go ahead and scoop this a little bit closer to me. I'm going to start around the edges. And this is two ounces PS. Sorry, forgot to forgot to mention that. Two ounces of resin. Yeah, see, you can already see some of that glitter coming up. Oh boy, sparkly. Gosh, that's pretty. I love orange. Holy moly. Anyway, all right. So I am uh, going to let this cure up and down. And uh, we will come back to it. When it is ready to unleash the glory and majesty <laughs> that is going to be this tray. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am. Stick around. All right, it is time to demold. <clears throat> Excuse me, so let's get it out. I'm very, very curious to see how it turned out. I have not peeked at all, but I know, as you'll see, sitting over here, there's about an ounce of resin, uh, because this mold is very well loved, and uh, I know that it has some blemishes on the front of it, or on the top of it, and uh, I'm going to need to put a top coat over it, so I've already pre-done that for your convenience. Yes. See, you can see, let me back up a little bit, you can see some of the little marks that are on it and whatnot. Yeah, so I know I'm going to have to do a uh, top coat. All right. <coughs> you guys ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness gracious, that looks so cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me while I compose myself. That is so awesome. Look at that. <gasps> wow. That is that is really cool. It 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 yeah. so neat. Okay. <clears throat> so, again, one ounce. 
is a rather shallow little tray, so uh, I don't want to fill it up too much. That's why I only made one ounce. Uh, so we, <laughs> we're going to give this guy a top coat. Uh, but first, what I'm going to do, because I've been playing with it, is I'm going to go around with a very soft microfiber cloth. And uh, this is the one, actually, that I used to clean my glasses. So I make sure that I get off any fingerprints or anything that happen to be stuck. Oh my gosh, the colors on this. I wish you could see this in person. Holy cow, the depth of the orange with the glitter underneath it. Oh my gosh. Seriously cool. All right, so let's... Get our top coat on. And this is really going to make those colors pop. Let this do its thing, and we will be back when it's done. See you soon. All right, top coat is all done and super shiny. Look at that glitter, shading, sparkle, sparkle. Just turned out really cool. Yay. Yay. I really like it so much. Once the sun comes up a little bit more, I'm going to take it outside and take some pictures. But man, that is really pretty. Reminds me of like a solar flare. Just. So I hope you guys really like it as much as I do. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.